Let's see what we got. What's up, family status? I hope everyone having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Today, I'm gonna harvest some sweet potatoes. But before I start harvesting sweet potatoes, I'm gonna harvest some of the leaves because they're edible and guess what? They actually taste similar to spinach. So when you're harvesting sweet potato leaves, you wanna make sure you harvest the leaves that look like this. The darker, healthy looking leaves. You don't wanna harvest leaves like this or leaves that look like this. So when you're harvesting sweet potato leaves, it might be a good idea to wear gloves. And I'll show you why in just a second. And you can also make it easier and just harvest the whole vine like this, cut the leaves off later. But I don't know if you guys can see, but this is why you want to wear gloves. This can irritate your skin and you definitely don't want to rub this in your eyes. You see that right there? This is why I wear gloves. And guess what? Something cool about sweet potato leaves is that you can grow these inside as a house plant. So yeah, you can have an edible house plant. All you have to do is take it off like this and you can just put this in some soil in your house. And you can make more than one plant if you want to. A lot of people always ask, what is a slip? A slip is nothing but this. You see this right here? That's a slip. So if you cut right there, that's one slip. Cut right there, that's another slip. Or you can make it bigger. You just wanna make sure it's right above this right here. So, see that? So that easy, we just made one, two, three, four house plants. So we planted these sweet potatoes around the first week of June from about right here to right here in the middle. And we planted these down here like the third, fourth week of June. So these are 100 days old and these are 80 days old. So a quick tip to grow big sweet potatoes. When you're growing sweet potatoes, you want to make sure you don't let them just go off like this because what they'll do is they'll just shoot roots down you see that look let me see if i can show you guys another example you see this right here see how this is in the ground check this out look at that that's a sweet potato so what you want to do is try to maintain your vines and keep them in a certain area because look check this out they'll shoot roots down and they'll waste energy on smaller sweet potatoes. So if you want to grow big sweet potatoes, make sure you maintain them and keep them in a certain area. Quick question before we start harvesting. How do you say sweet potato? Is it sweet potato? Is it sweet potato? Is it sweet potato? Or is it sweet potato? I don't know. Let us know in the comment section. Let's see what we got. So if it's your first time growing sweet potatoes and you're wondering, when are my sweet potatoes ready to harvest? Your sweet potatoes should be ready to harvest between 79 and 100 days. Look how big that one is. That's crazy, right? This sweet potato had a baby. See that?
Hello? Can I speak to Mr. Potato Head? So these sweet potatoes are 80 days old, so let's see if 80 to 100 days make a difference. I don't think so. Look at that. That's huge. What do you think? Does 80 to 100 days make a difference? So if you want to grow giant sweet potatoes like this, all you need is loose and fertile soil and you need to add some compost and some organic all-purpose fertilizer. If you don't believe me about compost, walk down here with me and I'll show you guys something. Well first, check out this. You see these watermelons? Check them out. You see how small these leaves are? And you see how small these watermelons are. Right? Now check this out. You see this down here? This is a compost pile. You see how big these watermelon leaves are? That's all because of our healthy compost pile. And check this out, right? I just showed you guys how small those watermelons were, right? And those are older than these. Check this out. I just noticed this the other day. See this? Can you guys see that? See how big that is? That's crazy, right? And once again, look at how big that leaf is. Let's see if we can find another one. Let's check. And this is what compost does to your garden. So that's why you should always add compost. This compost pile has me thinking about adding a ton of compost to our garden rolls instead of the pile. Let's see if I can find another one. It's watermelons everywhere. And these are not going to finish because it's going to get too cold, of course, but I'm still just going to let them grow. Find out how big they get. You see this one? Can you guys even see this? You see how big this is? It's crazy. And we haven't watered these once. And they haven't been affected by the cold weather at night. Like these up here. See these leaves? Look. That's from the cold weather. Look how small they are. I just can't believe that. Like, that's the first thing I noticed. Like, these leaves are so big and healthy. So, anyway, back to my point. That's why you should add compost to your sweet potatoes so you can harvest giant sweet potatoes because as you can see, that's what compost does. And it's that easy to grow your own sweet potatoes. So today's recipe for the sweet potato leaves are olive oil, fresh garlic from the garden, ginger powder from the garden, salt, onion powder, black pepper, and some fresh lemon drop pepper from the garden. Now we can't forget the special ingredient. What's that? Hot sauce, of course. It tastes like 